So you have this beautiful crepe myrtle in your yard, but the problem is you're finding all these little white spots on there. They're called scale. And what they do is they let their little honeydew drop on the ground and the leaves and it turns black. So that's just a fancy name for their poo. And so you've probably experienced this, especially if you have a car or a driveway or just even rose bushes underneath are just not looking good. So this is what I do to take care of it. And it's a great hot day in the garden. So I'm gonna get cooled off while I take care of my precious tree. So what I do first is just get as strong as you can on your hose, a sprayer, and follow the branches up to the tips as far as you can go. You have to get a ladder, fine, but don't worry about it. So we just go all the way down here. I'm gonna do a free soak first. And so that just get them started. Oh, sprayed my phone. So, oh, see, we're knocking them off there. It's looking better already. And the tree is just going, thank you, thank you, thank you. And so what we'll do also is look for any branches that are crossing. I keep mine pretty well groomed, but we want to create an airspace in this canopy because the buds tend to hang out where it's um, not much airspace and where sun can't get to it. And so it makes a graceful tree anyways if you do that. So look for any branches that you don't need. So we keep on spraying and I'm going back again here and just keep on going. Oh, see, got some more. Change your position. And so you just go on and on with this, okay? So you don't need to watch me do this whole tree because it's pretty big. But uh, I planted this so the birds would have a little covering to sit in before they go to the bird bath here. And that's so important. If you have a bird bath and you're wondering why they're not coming, typically they need a branch to land on first. So they feel safe just to check out the situation. So I planted this probably hmm, over four years ago and it just hung out for a while. And now it's just really matured into this beautiful shade tree, very graceful. So this is a Netches crepe myrtle and they get the cinnamon bark that peels. Also, that's a good thing to get all that stuff off of there because they can hide out in these little crevices. See? Oops, I'm getting it. Oh, that feels so good. So if it's really infested bad, you might get really sticky icky, but that's okay. Just hose yourself down. See, I'm getting a bunch up there. Okay, so I'm gonna keep doing that more later, but then I wanna show you the second step here. And it's a systemic drench, several brands. Um, I have both of these. This one was from Home Depot. This one was from Hughes Plant Farm. The Fertilome is always a, a good brand. Oh, look at that bug crawling up, how perfect. Anyways, he's not gonna last too long. So <laughs> we are going to mix that according to directions on the label in a bucket of water. And what you do is you pour it around the base of the tree, not up right up close, but back a little ways where the feeder roots are. They, they're suggesting like two to three feet, four feet maybe, um, but you can go out as far as the drip line, which is where the branches come across, that's where the feeder roots are. I tend to just do it a little bit closer just in case they haven't spread out so much. So we'll pour that around. And then what happens is it goes up into the tree and it repels the bugs and actually kills them if they try to suck on the sap. And so it's really a, a neat way to go. And uh, one of the labels says it takes about two to three weeks for the plant to absorb it and to start to take action. But it's a really good thing to do mid-winter when the plant is dormant, just to get it in there and um, maybe do it twice a year. And so that is how I take care of my scale on crepe myrtles. And I have several that I've planted around here. So I hope that's helpful to you. I get a lot of calls on that. And it's a pretty simple fix. You just keep on top of it. And uh, I have confidence that you can do it and save your beautiful tree. So blessings to you from Dory's Gardens and come see me.